I achieved AR-47, converted IITB, ISC, and many more. I wasn't from a top college, neither had the perfect start. But I figured out a system that worked. This is a no-nonsense strategy for anyone serious about cracking it, irrespective of their branch or background. We will look at how to complete your syllabus, uh, how to make short notes, how to revise it daily, how to solve questions, and towards the end, how to attempt your test series. The gate syllabus, I have divided it into two phases. First one is core, which constitutes of 70% of your syllabus. And the next one is the 30% of syllabus, which is mathematics and aptitude. So our strategy will be to finish the core subjects, that is phase one, by the end of September or mid of October. After that, covering the non-core part, that is mathematics and aptitude. Now we will divide the whole phase one part, that is May to September, based on the weightage of the subject. So we will have a lot more time to higher weightage subjects and lesser time to lower weightage subjects. From a mechanical engineer's perspective, this is how I divided my subjects. Non-mechanical students, you can allot as per the weightage of the subjects. Next, we'll look into the syllabus completion strategy. It's not just covering the syllabus, that is covering the lectures and theory, but it also includes revising daily, making short notes, then solving questions of the subject that you have covered the same day, and then making numerical notes of that as well. You will allot about 3 to 4 hours per day to complete your syllabus or maybe watch the videos of the coaching that you have taken or revise your notes that you have made earlier. After that, you will make it short notes either parallelly while covering the syllabus or after completing the syllabus the same day. Post which you will try to finish all the previous year questions or the numerical questions that you have of the same topic the same day. How to make your short notes? First, why do you need to make short notes? When a lot of time has passed, you will be having a lot of syllabus to revise. And it won't be possible to revise all the notebooks that you have in the form of long notes. Maybe at the crunch time of January, you will be needing your short notes from which you can revise whichever part of the syllabus you want to cover in a very short span. The strategy to make short notes is make about 10 to 15 pages per subject. Include only the key formulas or the key concepts that you think are important or you have seen in the previous year questions earlier. You can also include common traps and some concepts that you found in the numericals while solving. Make them while covering the syllabus itself. That will give you a in-depth idea of what are all the concepts that you need to put into your short notes. To make the short notes, you should use color coding or uh, sticky notes or maybe highlighters. To include as much as diagrams or sketches as possible. Next comes the numerical solving approach. So, to cover numericals, you will be having previous year questions. You will be having uh, your question bank from the coaching, topic by subject by stress series, and after that, full length test series. Try to allot 50 to 60 percent of your time of a day to solving numericals and try to solve at least 70 plus questions every day. Go to material should be the previous year questions. At first, you will solve the previous year questions. After that, you can try to solve the question banks that are given to you from your coaching. There will be some days when you won't be able to cover all the questions of that topic the same day. So I try to finish all the previous year questions and the questions banks of the topic that you have covered in that week itself. There will be few questions that you will either get wrong or you won't be able to solve. So in that case, if you did a question wrong, mark it as a cross. And if you could not attempt the question, mark it as a star mark or maybe a box. So in future, when you will be needing to revise the specific topic, you won't be solving all the questions of that topic, only which you have marked as cross or box. Same in previous year questions or question banks or test series. So this will help you save a lot of your time and not waste your time to revise the concepts that you already know or where you would not be making any mistakes. So make a numerical notebook and make a partition for each subject in which you will be putting all the numerical conceptual mistakes that you made during solving specific question bank or previous year questions. So don't write the whole question or don't write the solution. Just write that specific step. For example, write a concept or write the type of mistake, whether it was a silly mistake or a numerical mistake or a specific step where you did not rem remember the formula. So try to write that. When you will be revising the same subject again, you can revise that notebook. I will share with you the revision strategy that I followed to revise all the subjects. First thing in the morning, I used to revise uh, short notes for one hour every day as much as I can. 
the next day i tried to continue from where i left off in that way i revised every day uh, about 8 to 10 days i used to complete one cycle post that i used to start the another cycle initially the content will be very less so you won't be needing much of the time to revise the syllabus but as time passes you will be increasing the short notes so there will be a time when you will be revising for about an hour and then on some days it will go beyond that so try to revise for one hour and after that wherever you left off start the next day from that point itself once you are done with a specific subject for example if you started with engineering mechanics and you are done with that subject in about let's say 10 days on the 11th day try to solve all the numerical questions that you could not solve or you made mistake in in that way after completion of each subject try to allot one day to that specific subject and try to solve now there will be a time when you will be comp- you will be done with few of the subjects let's say two or three subjects after that try to pick up previous two three subjects topic wise or subject wise test series and also the questions that you could not solve earlier and solve them so that this will help you regain the conceptual or numerical solving skills that you earlier developed and you don't lose it uh, as time passes now there will be some topics where you will still find some difficulties so uh, refer to standard books for those topic itself try to solve only the solved examples for third year students your first time will be to finish the syllabus so pick up about 50% of the syllabus in third year and the rest in the fourth year you will be solving previous year questions question banks and solve examples of standard books parallel to covering the syllabus in both years you will do weekly revision of short notes and parallelly monthly revision of numerical notes other than that the whole process remains the same for you for aspirants with job since you will have less time daily assuming that you get 4 to 5 hours create a weekly plan as to how much amount of syllabus you will be covering that specific week if it becomes difficult to meet the plan by the end of the week try to stretch on the weekends you can allot about 1 hour in the morning and then 1 hour in the evening to completing the syllabus and 2 to 3 hours to solving questions of the syllabus that you have covered the same day you can revise during the breaks of your job if it is possible to cover syllabus during the job then you should surely do it you will be allotting 2 to 3 hours in the evening to solving the questions try to solve all the pyqs first and if time permits try to solve the question banks now since you will be having very less time so use the weekends and stretch it to fulfill your weekly goal we have reached october so here our strategy will be a slightly different one we will be giving um, full length test on every sunday and on the days in between the two sundays that is the six days we will try to cover the remaining syllabus plus we will try to eliminate the mistakes that we are making in the full length test so for example let's say we gave a full length test on our first sunday of october so on the same day after giving the test we will analyze our, our test we will be having some mistakes and of course there will be a lot of questions that we would not have solved so what we have to do is uh, we will pick up the mistakes that we have made whether the type of mistakes are uh, numerical ones or it's a silly mistake or a calculation based or a conceptual mistake or maybe we did not know the topic so we will uh, look at all the mistakes that we made in the topics that we had already covered and we'll try to eliminate those in the six days between two sundays and parallelly cover the syllabus similar to what the strategy we had before october so covering our syllabus revising making short notes revising them and solving numerical questions of the topics following this strategy we will be certainly able to complete the syllabus by the end of the october the core syllabus now as we step into november we will take up mathematics and aptitude parallelly and finish that you won't be needing more than 7 to 8 days or at max 10 days for completing mathematics and for aptitude previous year questions is more than enough to improve your marks so the 15 marks of aptitude will be done through the uh, previous year questions parallelly you will also be giving the flt so every sunday you will be solving about 10 questions of aptitude so that will be enough now we have reached december so here we will increase the frequency of the test that we are giving now we will be giving two tests per week uh, one on the sunday then on wednesday or thursday and in between the days we will try to eliminate the mistakes that we have made while also try to cover syllabus if syllabus any remaining we will look at how to approach test series so as discussed 
I recommend starting full length test series from the October itself. Irrespective of how much amount of syllabus you have completed, you should start your full length test series by the October. It will give you enough amount of time to improve on your mistakes and also uh, improve on your time management. In the month of December, you will be increasing the frequency of the FLTs. Now you will be giving two FLTs every week. And then in the month of January, you will be giving a uh, full length test alternate day. On the first January itself, you will analyze the whole full length test and then you will work on them on the alternate day. Parallel, you will be revising every day uh, your short notes one hour daily. So in that, you will be giving about 30 plus full length test. And these 30 full length tests will anyhow cover all the syllabus that is there in gate and you will get all of your mistakes that you could make uh, in those 30 FLTs only. So try to analyze these tests very seriously. This will completely optimize the marks that you should be getting. We will look at how to analyze the test series. Suppose you give the test on 1st October. After that, take a paper or take a register for all the analysis of full length test. The analysis page of the FLT1 or full length test 1 will be you will be marking 1 to 65 numbers on that page for the questions that you could not solve or you did wrong mark cross and a rectangular gap box and write it in front of it the subject from which this question is the topic from which this question is and the type of mistake that you made after this analyze the question paper as in from each subject how many questions you did wrong so this will give you an idea of which subject you are weaker in and which specific subject you need to focus as the first priority. So in the six days between each FLT in the month of October and November, you will be solving uh, questions of these topics based on the mistakes that you've made. So let's take up mistakes one by one. If the mistake is a silly mistake, then chances are that you are not reading the question carefully or you are not giving enough amount of time to uh, find out what the question is actually asking. So from the next time onwards, try to read every question very carefully in the FLT. If the mistake that you made is a numerical mistake, so it means that you are not completely familiar with the calculator. In that case, now you have to improve this by practicing a lot of questions on the TCS and calculator. When you will be giving the exams, you will be using the cheaper mouses that every college provides, the ones of 250 to 260 rupees. So try to use that mouse only. It will help you improve your accuracy of solving the questions. If the mistake is formula based, uh, for example, you could not uh, remember the formula or you made some mistake in formula. In that case, you need to revise more frequently. So now take revision more seriously and start uh, revising for one hour every day from here till the day of the exam. Write all the made mistakes that you made in the FLT and then before every FLT, revise these uh, numerical notes. When I gave HPCL exam, I fell short by one mark. I could not pass the exam. I never achieved uh, above 80 marks in any FLT. Uh, I also fell sick in the month of December. All these things uh, very certainly rose doubts in my head. Sometimes thought a lot about whether my preparation is enough or not. But the thing is, if you follow a specific uh, strategy, then chances are you won't be thinking much about outcome or uh, anything else other than the preparation and you will be staying on the track. So this will save a lot of your time as well as your energy. So just try to maintain the discipline and don't let any day go off uh, without any revision or solving some questions. You have to eat good, have enough amount of sleep, six to seven hours of sleep every day and go for a walk that helps a lot. And in the morning, if you do meditation for just 10 minutes, that will do wonders for you. Uh, I personally have felt it. So this one week also determines how much marks you'll be getting. You have to stop giving any FLTs. Now from here, for the next two to three days, try to solve previous year question papers and try to analyze that. This will help you to readjust your thinking process as per the GATE standards. And also this will get you into the mindset of what kind of mistakes you can actually make in the uh, exam. After this, you'll be having about three to four to five days remaining before exam. Just try to revise as much as you can. Revise your short notes, revise your numerical notes. That has everything that you have done throughout this one year. If you actually really want to solve any questions, just try to solve few of the previous year questions from specific topics that you want to, not everything. This will be enough in the last three to four days. Everyone's kid journey is different, but trust me, if I can do it, you can too. All you need is the right structure 
and a bit of consistency. Drop your rank goal in the comments and feel free to ask if there's anything I can help you with. See you.